Hey guys, so I promised you guys I would do a video last week and things got crazy and I just winged it. So here I am with this cool uh, video I'm going to show you. It's like a little hack. I'm going to be showing you how to DIY clean your makeup sponges with stuff that you already have at home so um let's get started so i'm going to be cleaning the this one i got off amazon in a package this is real techniques uh, makeup sponge and you will need a towel a container so this is going to be a two-step part a container and that's for the second step and then like a little bit of olive oil, um, room temperature, um, in this bowl. Not very much. I can't really tip it and show you. So, um, I'll turn the camera around. Okay, so that's how much olive oil is in there. So, let's get started. I'm actually... I'm going to try to flip the camera around for you guys to show you this part um, because this part is crucial. So, yeah. So, what you're going to do is put this yucky sponge, or this one, I'll do the real technique one first, and I'm just kind of like rolling it around. This is just pure olive oil from Trader Joe's and I'm just kind of getting it all um, soaked up in there. I don't know if I have enough room for the other one. I will try. So um, I'm going to let these soak for about, okay, I'm going to let it soak each of them for 20 minutes and I will come back. Okay guys, I put them in two separate bowls. So this yellow one that I showed and then this one. And I am, I'm thinking I'm going to let them soak for about 10 minutes instead of 20. Um, I'll come back in 10 minutes and see where they are. But if like your makeup sponge is really, really dirty. I would go as long as possible for them to soak in. That's what I have learned from my experience. So I will be back. Okay, so it's been about 15 minutes. So I am going to, this is the second one I did. Do you see how much grossness is coming out of there? So now I'm going to, um, flip the camera around okay so the next step the thing I showed you you don't have to wring it out I suggest that you don't I just wanted to show you guys but all I have in this little container is soap and so I'm going to add a little bit of warm water and take my hand and just kind of swirl it around it doesn't have to be super hot. You don't want it scolding. So I'm just going to start adding some warm water. I'm going to get some more. more in. So in all the dish soap that I use, the kind was gain. Like that's all I use to um, do my brushes and I'm actually cleaning my brushes as I'm doing this video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take from the uh, bowl, this one, and set it in the thing. You can see it. So I'm gonna do the second one the same and I'm going to let it sit probably for at least 10 to 20 minutes. If I was not doing this on camera, I would let it sit for a long time. Like I said, like I like to get my brushes 
and my sponge is really clean and it might not work for you but it works for me so i'm gonna take a, another little break and come back to you guys in about mm, 20 minutes i'm thinking half an hour maybe so um if you're in a hurry and you don't have a lot of time you could do it in 10 15 minutes so um, so I am like step one and then step two and then coming back and forth, but this is the process, like how it works. So I'll be back. Okay, so I'm back and I went a little over, um, 25 minutes, half an hour, but it's cause I was eating lunch. So I haven't even touched them. They're both in here and just picking it up. Like, that is so gross. So, I'm just gonna wring it out, just like that. Like, you should see the water, it's so gross. Like, I, yeah. So, I am going to flip the camera around and show you how to rinse it out. Okay, so I have the water going. But I just want to show you how gross the flood is. So I'm just going to take this and just like wring it out. And I'm not using like, I'm using like room temperature water because I use soap and it, it will just make it like really more. So, so this is like for the most part it totally worked out like it's more cleaner than it has been. So I'm gonna do this over there to dry. Then I'm going to kind of rub it through. I just put right around there. So, you see, like, it, I could have gone longer, and I should have went longer. Like, I totally recommend that you go longer, because it's still, like, it's definitely clean, but it's still got some stuff on it. So, I'm gonna turn the camera on. Hey guys, so I'm kinda gonna do the end result because they are drying, but this technique does really, really work. Um, I was just showing you how to do it on camera, and if I was off camera doing this on a different day, like, I would let them soak like in the olive oil, olive oil as long as possible and I would let them soak in the water if they are dirty because you don't want to put bacteria on your face. So all in all, this technique, I love doing it this way. It's totally inexpensive. So um, this is how um, it turned out. Yes, there is some still left on it, but it is really clean, like totally clean. So not totally clean, but there are some stains on it. And maybe I'll do a more updated video and, you know, over time, and maybe I can get the stains out. So um, please hit the subscribe button and please also don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And please don't forget to ring the bell so that you will be notified when I post a new video, first come, first serve. But please, please like this video or thumbs up this video and please hit the subscribe button um, down below. Thanks for watching. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, welcome to Redesign 16. So today, I'm going to be showing you a long time video coming. It's how to DIY your 
makeup sponges. Do you see this? If you want to know how I did this, then keep on watching.